Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? My name is Brennan Taylor and we are on a train today. This is a six hour train ride and am I excited for it? No, but what I am excited for is they have a full restaurant in here. So, six hour train ride food review? I think so. My brother's sitting over there guarding our bags because I have heard stories that people steal on trains and I am not trying to have anything stolen from me. So we are actually on a train from Austria to Italy. Things are about to get crazy because I am going to walk through those automatic doors and let's go see that restaurant, shall we? Of course. figure something out real quick. Hold on, give me a second so I can use my Google Translate. Okay, can I get um, this pulled pork burger? And then I want to get um, some, this pasta. basically ordered one of everything on the menu almost or everything that could be prepared in the time that we have left this has been a five hour train ride from Austria to Italy and I ordered basically everything on the menu so let's see how well this is prepared let's see if it's like worthwhile or anything like that I don't know I'm, I'm working with what we got here I've never ordered any food on a train I didn't even know there was a restaurant on a train so this is news to me let's see how much it's gonna cost Seems like it's just a lot of microwavable food. Just got all this food. It is literally all microwavable food. But you know what? We are on a train, so I don't expect them to have a huge kitchen or anything like that. I don't know what that is. Let's check out the food. I'm gonna get some food porn shots so we can cut into those right now. <laughs> okay, so first looks at these meals, they don't look that good. But like I said, you know, there's not a full kitchen in there, so we are working with what we got here. Um, I think we should just kind of just go in. We'll let you know if six hour train food is actually worthwhile. So I'm gonna start with this. This is basically a ham and mayonnaise sandwich. I'm definitely not trying that. That looks kind of disgusting. I'm not a huge mayonnaise fan, but you know what? This is what they eat out here, so. The bread does look good quality. The bread is good quality. No, it's hard, it's firm, and uh, here we go. Oh my god, there's more on the bottom. <laughs> Just when you thought it was over. How do you do that? You know, it's because they microwave the ham. This, they microwave the whole thing. Just like this. Actually, no, they didn't. The bun, I watched them cut it in half. It was a full piece of bun and they cut it in half. It's not good. It's got a very soury taste. The mayonnaise doesn't, like, they heated the mayonnaise up on it. Yeah. The mayonnaise has been sitting there on it like that. It's not good. It's sour. I don't know why it's sour, and it's kind of just a mouthful of bread. You really just taste this soury mayonnaise. You don't even taste the meat. There's really no flavor to the meat. It's not that good, unfortunately. This is like a one-star meal right here. I'm gonna say that for this. Of course, you go for the nicest, best Yeah, one. I'm so hungry that if I eat anything disgusting, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna like throw it up. So I need like a good bite of something good, so. It's literally something that we can make at home. It's nothing crazy. It's literally like a jar of tomato sauce and pasta that they just like put it together and like mix yeah. it together. There's nothing bad about it. There's nothing gourmet about it. It's just like a person a person with on a camping trip can make something like this, yeah. Let me give us a little bit of a taste because I know pasta. We're going to Italy right now so I have to prepare myself for all the pasta that we're gonna be eating. Mmm. Okay. So yeah, obviously it's just, you know, they heated up the sauce and they heated up the the shells and they put them together. It's that simple, but it's not bad. At least it tastes no. like it's it's legit food. Like they could have just heated it all up in one and it would have been awful. This, 
I can deal with. I can actually enjoy it. But the fact that they just put it in like a thing like this is kind of a weird and it's kind of off-putting, but it still tastes decent. We got a, a pulled pork sandwich with a bunch of coleslaw on it. So with no further ado, I'm gonna do this. Jake's gonna taste this nasty looking one. It actually smells quite good though. There's like a barbecue smell to yeah. it. And I'm actually pretty excited to take a bite of it. The only thing I'm not too sure about is the coleslaw. The bun is a sesame seed bun and it actually looks pretty good. It's whole wheat, so uh, yum, here we go. Okay, girl. Surprisingly. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Coleslaw is not overpowering at all. It kind of adds to the flavor. The beef, you can actually taste how tender the beef is. I was thinking that it was going to be like maybe cold in the middle or anything like that, but actually is really sh actually shredded pork compiled together. It's not like a patty that was shredded and then put together. It's actually shredded. Like everything can be pulled apart. You know what I mean? It's like legit shredded. You know, pork. you know why it's called pulled pork? Why? Because you can pull the pork apart. You know? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Now I understand, but. It's okay. legit what it is. Definitely, but from my like viewing of it, I've had a pulled pork sandwiches before. It needs more sauce. Like no, it's actually really, really? juicy. Oh, it when you take a, yeah, it looks dry, but when you take a bite of it, it's very juicy. And I was surprised when I took a bite. Like this is something that's actually quite good. All right, this seems like it's gonna be a lot too much, too much bread for what it is. It literally looks like spam. That's not good. What's in it? Is there anything in it? Is it just a no. dry? That's all it is. There we go. It's literally just a dry, crappy piece of it. What is that? That's, I'm gonna give this a go. What is it? Unless it comes out white, I'm not doing it. What if it comes out red? <laughs> oh. Just put it on there. Mustard. It's just it's not mustard. Okay. Does it help it? Yeah. Here. Oh, I don't, I don't like the the feel of this. No, it but feels like, like I'm eating a rubber band. Uh huh. But it tastes better with the Dijon on it. The Dijon? I mean, I didn't taste it plain, and I don't really want to taste it plain. The texture of this alone turns me off so much. Take a bite much. of just the meat. That's not good. That is not. It's not nasty. Like it tastes all right, but it's just. The texture of it just really just makes me grossed out. I didn't go to the best school growing up, you know. It was a good, it was in a good neighborhood. But let me just say, like the cafeteria food at that school is a hundred times better than what we were eating here. And the, the thing is, though, in the cafeteria they have a kitchen. Here they had microwaves. Everything here was microwaved. It wasn't that is like, true. It wasn't ever like cooked here. This Everything just been frozen. This, you know what this reminds me of? Like hospital cafeteria food. Very much so. I think the best thing out of everything we've eaten was the pasta, and then coming in second was this. And the rest was just awful, to be honest. But you know, with that being said, I think you need to check out the bathrooms before this little train ride ends. <laughs> That means drukken. I don't know. Maybe push. What? And this is Jake's bathroom review. All right. First off, this thing is as zen as can be. You come in here and you're like in the middle of the forest. You know, you're sitting down. You can see the snow. You can see the river. You can see everything. You know what I mean? Then up here, there's like a, a what is this? A cup holder? You hold some cup? I don't know. Everything is very futuristic, which is kind of cool. I don't know what this does. Uh, that's water. Okay, and that's air. Wow. That smells really disgusting. I don't know when it's gonna turn off. Hold. A few moments later. I don't know, it's not turning off, but let's check this toilet pressure and let's get out of here. Toilet's over. Oh! This thing is really weird. I don't, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. That was really weird. All right, back to the food. So all in all, you go on a six hour train ride, this is what you're gonna get. Especially if you're going from Austria to Italy, you're not gonna get the best selection of food, but at the end of the day, it's something to keep you going. Now we're gonna get some really good food because we're entering the city of food. Italy. So it's gonna be super awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turning on that little bell so you never miss a post. And I will see you guys the next time I post. Peace out.
Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.